Yo, what is good out there? It's Roll Easy. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to teleport anywhere in any session and in any job. This glitch is only for PS4, not for Xbox. We're going to get into all the information right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. Okay, so moving on into the rest of the video. Now, big shout out to the founders, all right? Beat Junkies for actually finding the teleport glitch itself. And Vladdy Rad, he's part of Far Crew, one of my boys. He is the one who found the current job glitch that we're using here, okay? So there's a few things you guys gotta know. First of all, like I said, PS4 only, okay? Xbox, you cannot do this because recent activities, man, that's the only way to get this do, uh, get this going. I've tried it on Xbox a bunch of times. There, I don't think there's any way around it without recents, at least not with this method. So apart from that, TP, what it is, teleport. It's getting creator warp into uh, sessions, all right? You can teleport all around the map. You can switch sessions, go into jobs, go into story. None of that will unglitch you, all right? There's a few things that will, but we'll go over that at the end of the video. All right, don't, don't use this for trolling, at least not too much. Do productive things like crate missions, heist, vehicle cargo. You, you'll be amazed at how easy that it is to do when you have teleport. All right, you can also get God mode with this and do a dupe glitch, but that's for different videos. So this is just an intro on how to make the job and then how to hit it, okay? You're gonna need one friend to help you, but you could do it completely solo, which is the way I'm gonna do it in this video, all right? But you need a friend, you know, at some point, all right? You can, you can do it solo, but I recommend definitely having a friend to help you out, especially at first. So I recommend going to story and then you wanna go ahead and go to creator. I recommend being online. Well, for this part, it doesn't really matter, I guess. We're just creating the job right now. So once we're in creator, go ahead and go to load creation, or sorry, not load creation, uh, create a race. And we're gonna go ahead and create a land race, all right? So we're going to load in and here we go. So you see in the bottom right, when I press pause, I can warp to different places here, creating a race. This is what we're glitching. We're bringing this menu into online. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the beach in this location. I recommend if you want to make the job like me, just go to this location right here. This is where Vladdy made his. All right. You know, originally. So once you're here, you want to go ahead and just name the job. I'm going to name mine TPP and then go ahead and put anything into the, in the description. Take a photo. You got to do these things to create a race. Go down to maximum players, go down to two, and then go ahead and set this to a GTA race, point to point, and small grid. All right. So right here, we're hovering over the beach. You go to small grid. Now we're going to place a trigger. Okay. Place a trigger on somewhere flat. So right there should work. I place it there. I'm going to go ahead and select the lobby camera, take the picture like it wants us to, and then go to checkpoint. Now, go ahead, rotate, and hover over this starting grid or this little area right here. What you want to do now is go ahead and back out of this menu and then back out of that menu too. Go ahead and go to race details, change race type, and change it to a special vehicle race. Okay? So this is very important. Change race to special vehicle race is what we're going to be clicking on now. Accept the alert. We're good. Go ahead and back out of this and we're going to go to placement again and we're actually going to select checkpoints once again. Now is when we're going to go ahead and start, you know, putting down the checkpoints. We only need to put down like two of them. You're going to see right here. So as close as you can get it to the beach, uh, to where it's yellow right there, you want to go ahead and start it. So I'm going to go ahead and put one checkpoint there and not even this far away. I was going to put it a, a little bit over there. You can put it right here. Okay. Like right past those little pylons if you want to. All right. But there we go. So just two checkpoints, go ahead and back out of this and we want to test the race. All right. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to back out. And I'm gonna hit test. All right, testing should be nice and easy and super quick. You know, we didn't make this race long on purpose. So we're gonna go ahead and just drive over to the finish line. I almost missed it. And then we're good to go. I can hit OK on this. All right. So now that I've hit OK, you wanna go ahead and save it. All right. So it's saving my race, you know, the same name that I put on it before. And go ahead and go to race details, change race type and change to stun race. All right. Very important to do this, except this alert. Okay. So here we go. We've done that. 
Now we're good to go. All right, the job is fully done. We're good. All right, so now what I recommend is exiting out of here. And I recommend going online if you haven't already, all right, before doing, before actually trying to hit the glitch. Now, you, now that you have the job made, you're good. We just have to hit the glitch. Now, it's not the easiest glitch. I've been doing it for a while, so it works. You know, I can get it to work. I know a lot of the little things, and I'll try to help you guys. But this glitch can be a bitch, all right? It's complicated. Well, it's not complicated. It's simple, but it's very random at times. So like I said, I recommend going online and go ahead and now go back to story mode, okay? Always go online in some way before doing this. So I like to hit the glitch in story mode. Some people hit it from online. I don't like doing it too much from online. So I go to story mode and I'm Trevor. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. But first I wanna show you what the friend is doing. So this is where the friend can come in, all right, and help you. Your friend can go ahead and from a public session and make sure you guys are in the same targeting mode, start up a Titan of a job, okay? So here's a little tip, all right, that not many people know. If your friend is in the lobby screen right here, you're gonna get frozen when you hit the glitch every single time. If your friend launches the job right now, and then you try to hit the glitch off of him while he's actually launched in the job, you will not get frozen 99% of the time when you actually hit the glitch, okay? So I recommend if your friend is helping you, have him launch a Titan of a job and actually be in the job like you see, you know, in this video right here. Okay, so we're gonna get back over to the person actually getting teleported, all right? We're in story mode, remember, as Trevor. So I'm gonna go ahead and press pause, all right? And I'm gonna head to creator. So press pause, go to the online tab, and head over to creator. Now, like I said, I hit the glitch actually solo in this video, all right? I didn't have anybody actually helping me, talking to me, nothing like that. Okay, I needed to join somebody, obviously, but I still hit it solo. Nobody helped me, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and now once we're in creator, load creation, go to saved and hover over the job that we just made. So the name of the game here is to hit X on the job and then press pause about a half a second later, okay? You'll know you failed it if there's a loading icon in the bottom right. If there is not a loading icon in the bottom right, then you did it good, but you can't do it too fast, okay? So you're gonna see right here what happens, all right? I'm gonna press X and then press pause a half a second later, boom. But look, I was too late. You see how it says loading right there in the bottom right? Just go ahead and go to choose character after this, all right, to reset. Now, that pause, that pause thing is very, very important. You wanna get the pause menu up right before the loading circle comes up, okay? So once you spawn, and this is after every fail you can do this, go ahead and just exit back to story mode from the choose character menu, all right? So now that we're back in story mode, I can go ahead and reset for the glitch, okay? You always wanna make sure you go online and then back to story mode if you're doing it my way. So I'm gonna go back to creator and we're gonna attempt to do this part again. It's very important. So load creation, save, hover over the job I just made and I'm gonna go ahead and hit X and then pause a half a second later. Boom, I hit it good there, all right? No loading icon in the bottom right. So this is where the friend comes in. If your friend is sitting in Titan of a job, you can just go to the party or wherever and just join your friend, okay? But First, you wanna go ahead and get a recent activity ready. So this is why Xbox cannot do this glitch. Get a recent activity ready that says start detail online. Hit start detail online. The recent has just loaded up behind the pause menu, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and check my targeting mode. It's in assisted aim. So I know I need to join somebody that's in assisted aim. Obviously you and your friend would both be in the same targeting mode. So I'm looking through my friends list and I need to find somebody that's in a job since I don't have a friend to actually help me do this, all right? You will if you know, you're watching this video and you see that, but look, I have a friend that's in a capture. So I'm gonna try actually doing it from this one, okay? From this guy. So I'm gonna hit join session and then the alert will come up above the pause menu, okay? Remember, we loaded a recent behind there, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit X and boom, the recent popped up in the back. We're in the same targeting mode or I'm pretty sure we are. Now, this is where it can get tricky. You can press circle at any time, really. I know people that press it right away. I know people that press it after four seconds. It's four to 16 seconds. I actually waited 30 seconds to hit it and I hit circle and check it out. This is what you wanna see, okay? You hit circle, you see in the bottom right it says loading and I'm actually falling from the, from the sky. That's a really good sign. You should get shot right back up. If that doesn't happen, you have to start over, all right, from the beginning of the glitch. Not creating the job, you've already created it. You just have to start over from the X pause thing, okay? But that is the result you actually wanna see. You wanna see yourself have loading, falling, and actually get shot right back up into the clouds. Now, 
If you had a friend that was actually launched into China of a job, you won't be frozen here. But I joined this guy, this random, I don't know what he was doing, and I got frozen. So he was probably in the lobby screen, all right? Not even launched into the job. So I, if you are frozen, to anybody that gets frozen here, you need to find somebody in a different targeting mode. I am in assisted aim, I know that for sure. So it's going to be a little tough to find somebody in free aim, but I was able to get someone, okay? So... I got someone right here that I know is probably in free aim. I'm going to hit join session and I'm not going to accept this alert. I'm actually going to go ahead and double tap and then join again. And look, the target mode alert came up. So that's a nice way to check without actually trying to join somebody. So go ahead and decline the target mode alert. I'm unfrozen now. Go to race details, change race type and change it to a stun race and accept the alert. Once you've done that, you are, you've, you know, reset creator basically. And you want to go ahead and go to online, play GTA online and hit go. All right. And so here's what happens when you hit go from this point, you will be stuck in the clouds infinitely. OK, you need to activate uh, um, or suspend app. Sorry, not a reason you need to suspend app. So another reason why Xbox wouldn't be able to do this again. So go ahead and suspend app. I usually wait about 30 seconds. It just for some reason it works better for me that way go ahead and accept the alert and then eventually you will spawn in a session sometimes you get you know caught up in the clouds here for a while if you do for like a few more minutes and nothing happens you can try to suspend again you'll be good to go after two or three times usually i load in if it's really bad but when you load into a session you should notice when you press pause at the bottom right it says warp now it doesn't say checkpoint it actually says warp so you want to go ahead and you can warp all around the session if you want to all right you're free to do whatever you want uh, do not go to creator, don't load up a new game save, and don't spectate anyone in sessions, and you can keep this for a while. You can go back to story mode, you can go into missions, heist, you can do crate missions, do whatever you want with this, alright? Really important, or really cool, but don't go to creator, leave your PS4 in rest mode, and you should be good to go, alright? That's gonna be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.